DNA has certainly advanced forensic science since being implemented into the field a few decades ago. In fact, most people now consider it to be the given of any forensic investigation. But is it really the case-breaking secret weapon that television makes it out to be? Forensics case number four, DNA evidence. Television has an act for focusing more on what looks cool instead of actual science. In most crime dramas, you'll see an investigator find DNA evidence, run it through a computer, and by the end of the episode, a criminal suspect is behind bars. It kind of makes you wonder how there could be any unsolved cases out there. But as NFSTC forensic biologist Rob O'Brien explains, simply uncovering DNA evidence at a scene doesn't necessarily solve a case. Well, it's incorrectly portrayed because they, they take things that typically we may not even be able to get DNA from, but on television they make it look like, oh, you'll definitely get DNA from that. Or they may take something that, you know, in the real world would have small amounts of DNA, but yet they'll develop a lot good DNA profile from that. DNA is shared by our bodies everywhere we go. It doesn't necessarily mean that enough cells may be deposited for us to actually get a DNA profile from it. So for example, if someone just lightly touches something, technically they're leaving DNA behind, but if they're only leaving like one or two cells behind, it may not be enough that we'll actually get a DNA profile. Also, if something is exposed to the elements, like the rain or excessive heat, then that can actually destroy the DNA that was on it. So even if there was a lot of DNA deposited, if it was like an external crime scene, for example, and it rained that day, it may wash it all off. So it may not necessarily be giving you enough DNA there to get a good DNA profile. So while DNA evidence is a helpful tool, it's not always the guaranteed case breaker that pop culture makes it out to be. When television makes finding DNA evidence look easy, it's almost always fiction and definitely forensics.